Alrighty. So let's go see if we can wrap main mission stuff up on the iconoclast side of things. So we gotta go over here to Amber Heights. Accept. Faux windows. Order now. Adds beauty and verisimilitude. Okay. Damn philosophists. The folks in Amber <laughs> Heights always manage to find a bottle or two of the good stuff. Keen scavengers, I tell you. They're always up here. You gonna have some business to talk about in front of us this time? No? Okay. If you'll just listen. Oh, now they do. <laughs> no, no more listening. No more preaching. We are losing people left and right. We need to act. Enough, Zora. I'm not putting the torch to innocent people. Do you want to bring the board's cruisers and gunships down on us? Captain, apologies, but our situation grows dire. Our people talk of foolish endeavors. What news do you bring? The printer presses are, uh, the printing press is all yours. Excellent. Did you find the Van Noys? Yes, the Van Noys are on their way back. Or we'll actually say no, uh, well, yes, but uh, they're lucky I got there in time, else they'd have become wrapped on dinner. Lucky indeed. Thank you. All right, so we got some more One reputation. Step closer to bringing the truth to every man, woman, and child in the house. We pay for the printer. This plan's brilliance is in its subtlety. For the time being, let us cease our activities on the tower, lest we bring premature attention upon us. I have much to do: articles to write, sermons to ponder. We live in such an exciting time. Let's talk later. Hey, I need to see to the wounded, but drop by the clinic when you can. I want a word. Okay. Cool, so it looks like he actually said he might have ceased his activities on the tower. Let's, uh, look at that, so. Okay, so you were able to put a stop to the Iconoclast transmissions. That's excellent. Okay, so we got that. Now we need to get the MSI side done. So hopefully uh, we can um, wrap up a couple of those missions and see if we can get a little favor on that side. Um, easy enough. Okay, so over here on the map, the region, gotta go back here. And, oh, actually, I should have checked actually where we need to go because it looked like it was on both doors. So, but we didn't change that yet. So let's do this one, see where that is. That's right in there. Gotta see Celia. This is the simple truth. About we the dude's trading cards. The body is a collection of atoms. Oh, okay. The mind so is yeah, a this is we peeked in reactions. from over there. The door is still open. Therefore, our lives are predestined along a path that is only visible in retrospect. Are you Life is fated. Preach. And coming in here. Corporate headquarters. Shut up. Yeah. You done? <laughs> All right, we got to talk to Celia. Greetings, and welcome to Monarch Stellar Industries, producers and purveyors of the finest Saltuna and Halcyon. She looks all happy and bright. What can I do for you today? Ah, uh, Grim asked me to check with you about his tossball poster. You know, sending you is the first bright idea I've seen from that man, because I told him to stop bothering me about it a week ago. I still don't know anything about it. But if you want to help him, Velma's the one to ask. She's in the warehouse. Okay. But I'll warn you. Grim wore her patience thin a long time ago. Mm. Let me see. I can get into their business now. Earlier, I overheard you say you were having money trouble. Not at all. Mr. Nandi treats us all right and pays us well. I just spent most of my paycheck on Raptid on Oh, easy to do. <laughs> Do you normally blow your money on raptodon parts? Laws, no. Sometimes it's canid teeth or a mantis worm wing. She's got a backstory. Whatever Sebastian has in stock, really. And why are you buying so much from Sebastian? So I can talk to him, of course. Oh. He doesn't get going about much else. Sort of the strong, silent type. 
Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, my apartment's kind of filling up with his stuff. And some of the neighbors are complaining about the smell. Um... Maybe I can talk to him for you. Would you? I'd appreciate that so much. Some stranger uh, come in and help maybe you. Maybe don't tell uh, him I wanted you to ask. Just that you met this really nice lady named Negotiate Celia, with your crush seemed... <laughs> for your crush. <laughs> oh, Mr. Nandi's doing that thing where he breathes through his nose real slowly. I'd better get back to work. Okay. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Oh, and this is Sanjar. Uh, we'll be back for you. We'll be back for you. We gotta get some reputation first. That's the dude. I hear those rich people so, are him there's Velma. For rap musk. Bet they also pay to make it stink less. Yeah. Supposedly, it uh, makes you more attractive. Hey, What's up, Velma? Pills. You're a... Look, you can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, all right? She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. Um. <laughs> oh, look at that nice little lie down there, number three. Catherine said she'd shove you in a box if you keep running your yap like that. <laughs> um, I'm going to say take it easy. No, I'm not just looking around. Uh, what are you talking about, Catherine? Sorry. Seems I got my cables crossed. Thought you were another shakedown tough from Fallbrook. Mm. I hope you can forgive my temper. This job has been running me ragged lately. First, my autoloader foreman stages a walkout, and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. Pescatological? It has to do with fish. Um, your chief what? <laughs> Let's ask her a little bit more. Uh, what's this about your foreman? Caleb Herrick runs the autoloader operator. Might get in yet another mission. He thinks I don't pay them this enough game will never run out of turning dials. stuff to do. He and his whole I don't crew want walked out. Say they won't come back unless I pay them more. Okay. Uh, I can talk to Caleb for you. You mind slapping him around a little while you're at it? I'm joking. Mostly. And shoot him for Unless you. Unless you can do it without hurting his job performance. <laughs> if you can find a way to get him back to work, All right. I'll make it worth your while. Check the Aqua. We may there. have to do that first to get her favor. Um, who is this Catherine you mentioned Sublight when you first came in? Sublight boss out of Fallbrook. Handles most goods that come in or out of Stellar Bay. Has a mouth like a ground zig spacer. Something else on your mind? Yeah, these people don't mind talking. Uh, tell me about your missing co-worker. Braxton. He's in charge of getting the fish fat, but also making sure they don't get too many tumors. He's a real wizard with pharmaceuticals, but he has creative notions of working hours. Comes with living in a free colony, I guess. Okay. Um... So find him and drag him out by his ears. I would if I weren't busy here picking up his slack. Since you don't seem to be constrained yourself, maybe you could check up on him. He lives right. in the apartments. Another mission. Tell him Velma said to get his lazy ass down here, or she might start noticing those extra jugs he's been taking from supply. So, question is, do I do those things first? Or could, should I just go straight uh, talking about Grimm's poster? Uh, let's talk about Caleb. Unless you're here to tell me he's agreed to do his job again, I've got nothing to say. Okay. And they're hard workers, aren't they? Don't they deserve some compensation for that? Hard workers? They turn dials and flip switches. The machines do all the actual work. Uh oh. Caleb and his crew have it better than anyone else around here, I'll tell you that much. Okay, why can't you give him his pay increase? I don't have the bits for it, plain and simple. Besides, if I make an exception for him, I gotta do the same for everyone. She's principled, in at least this area. I will begrudgingly give her that. Thank you. I think. If Caleb wants to keep this job, he'd better get back to it. I'm about ready to hire sublight contractors at this rate. Okay. Um, 
Are you willing to meet him halfway? For running me ragged while he takes an extended okay, leave at the I bar? I gotta get out of this loop here. Not on your life. We gotta go talk to Caleb. Um, let's talk about something else. Fine by me. Uh, I'm here about Grimm's poster. This again? I swear, this is the last time I contract for any special requests. You can tell Grimm his poster came in. Yay. You can also tell him I got a better offer for it. So now it's going to Nell. That about oh. cover it. Okay. Uh. You still have the poster, right? It's staying locked up in my office until Nell shows with her money. Um. Surely we can work something else out. Sure can. If you want to pay me more than Nell's offering. Let's see. Let's do two. Persuade. Work with me. I'm willing to help you find Braxton, aren't I? Sure. And once you finish helping me, then we can talk about the poster. I figured that was coming. <laughs> I should have just bought it. Okay, who's now? She runs the bedding parlor across the way. Nice professional lady. She asked me about the poster once. Just once. Made a real generous offer, too. Okay. So, whatever. Uh, she does sound easier to deal with. I don't have with. time for Grimm. Even when I'm not working doubles. Okay, let's talk about something else. Fine by me. And I'll talk to you later. Oh, wait. We got to get some dirt on on Braxton first. You said Braxton had been stealing drugs? Stealing such a nasty word. Let's call it skimming. Skimming drugs. And yeah, let's just say I've noticed the sterile biotics we use for the fish would get used a little faster on Braxton shifts. Sterile biotics. Oh, awfully nice of you not to say anything. We're not like those corporate towns where you get fined for sleeping on the wrong side of the bed. Besides, the Spacer's Choice stuff we use is cheap enough. And Braxton knows how to get the salt tuna, fat, and mostly tumor-free. Mostly tumor-free. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you later. Alright, so that branched off into a bunch more missions. So much for getting it done quickly. Um... So, what did we get? We got the secret people. That's Braxton. We'll go to his apartment. Um, Herrick's handiwork. We got to convince him to return to work. And then that's the uh, death in the apartment. Yeah, and that, that's still back Roseway. All right, so we got to do all these. <laughs> Not this one. So, we got one, two, three, four. All right, start with that one. Uh, so let's go to Braxton and deal with him, his butt, get him back to work. Hopefully by the time we're done with this, we'll have a whole bunch of favor we have earned with MSI. How Sandra would know about that, I don't know, but that's how the game works. All right, so he's gonna be upstairs. Whatever you do, don't mention crossbow. No, he's downstairs. Um, this downstairs. would be where the murder was. No, uh, now he's up there. Okay, so it was up there. Oh, no, that's Laura. You startled me. Don't sneak up at a prison like that, huh? <laughs> just opened her door and came on in. I'm looking for Braxton. Braxton? I've never even heard of a Braxton. Got nothing for you. Sorry. What? Uh, persuade and relax. No one's in trouble. I'm just looking to have a friendly chat with him. Oh. In that case, he told me he was delivering to this house in the ruins south of town. Whole family had fallen sick and he had some meds on hand. So, maybe look for him there? Okay, that's all I needed. We're in agreement that this Braxton is probably dead, right? Hmm. And I uh, didn't confront her about her drug use, but uh, whatever. Okay. 
So now we got to go to house. If I hear you say survival of the fittest one more time, I'm going to lose it. Survival's about pursuit. Yeah, I wonder how far it is out of here. All right, where is it? 203 meters. All right, we just got to go for it. Let's see if these guys have respawned again. Good old Stellar Bay. Only place on the planet that don't stink of sulfur. On account of it stinking like seems mellow at the moment, actually. The trick is not to breathe through your nose. I guess there's some time limit on how soon they respawn. I wonder what secrets these ruins contain. Don't bother knocking on any doors. If anyone's inside, they're liable to respond with gunfire. Okay, let's break on in. Transition. Hmm. Okay. Cool. A visitor? What an unexpected surprise. Holding a gun. <laughs> Please, come in. Come in. I'm getting real bad fight or flight right now. Watch your step. People ain't this friendly outside city walls. I, for one, welcome a reprieve from our travels. That is, if you'll have us, kind sir. That's the spirit. Now come in. Make yourselves comfortable. It doesn't look so good. I'm looking for Braxton. He supposedly came by here. I'm afraid we don't get many visitors out here. The Raptodons and Marauders scare off all but the boldest. Yeah, I imagine. If you've braved them, you must be exhausted. Why don't you stay for dinner? Not what I'm trying to do. I'm. Sh are you sure you haven't seen Braxton? I heard he was delivering medicine to you. I'm sure I would remember something like that. Now, quit fretting yourself about that. Make yourself at home. Dinner's almost ready. I don't want dinner. Something ain't right about this. Uh -uh. Who's gonna have poison? Who's this? Oh, hello there. You come for, for a uh, dinner? Mm-hmm. Actually, I'm looking for Braxton. Sorry, I'm not real good with uh, names. He's way sketchier than the last guy. Is something wrong? It just gets hard to remember things. I recall moments, feelings, but the details slip. He's on a lot of drugs, Other too. Other times, it's like there's fog. I... Sorry, have we talked about this before? Maybe I can help you. That's nice of you. I usually feel better after I eat. Mama said dinner's almost ready, huh? All right, I'm gonna leave you alone now. I can put this away. What a pleasant surprise. And just when I was beginning to fear we'd seen the last of good company for a spell. Yet the eternal provides, does it not? Mm -hmm. Only if you give yourself over to the plan, Martha. May I call you Martha? By all means, just make yourself comfortable. Company is always a reason for cheer. If so, you're so eager for company, why live all the way out here? The Eternal does not desire that we huddle and hide, crowded in by walls. We all share the spark of the divine, oh and we were made to spread it across the stars. Out here, we are free. And even apart from society, Braxton's the been selling them too much of the good stuff. Uh -huh. Oh, God. Um, things have a way of working out, I suppose. That they do. Though it's up to us to make the most of those opportunities, wouldn't you say? Mm. Look at me, prattling on as if this gravy is going to cook itself. Why don't you run along until we are ready for dinner? 
Okay, this is weird. Uh, let's head on upstairs. Lizzie Mather. Gonna be more of the same, probably. Oh, hi there. Did you come to bring us more of those rocket candies? Rocket candies? What are you talking about? Uh. Sure, I brought some candies. That's wonderful. There was this other man who used to bring them. Not anymore, though. Was his name Braxton? I don't know. I'm not really supposed to talk to strangers. Oh. Why isn't he bringing you more rocket candies? He said they were making us sick. Mom and Papa got real mad at him for that. They went to have a talk with him. Afterwards, they said he wasn't coming back again. Oh. What can you tell me about this man? Mama and Papa said he came from the city. When we got sick one time, he brought those candies to make us well again. And they worked. Now we feel better than ever. Mama says they're a gift from the Eternal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go now. Okay. Maybe I'll see you at dinner. Absolutely. When like... she said that reminded me of a rat licking its chops. Be careful. Oh, yeah. So we have some doors here. We've got this one that we could pick into. Um, that one just got opened by itself. Hey, what are you doing in my room? Sorry, I was just looking around. Liar. You're trying to steal the last of my rocket candies, aren't you? No, I was going to steal the contents of the other thing, but I'm not. Your rocket candies? The ones that come in a bottle with a rocket ship on it. Like the other man used to bring. Calm down. I'm going to leave now. I was going to steal your stuff. And there's there. Um, we'll go in there in a second. Let's go ahead and go upstairs some more. See what Dex family member is. Okay. Nobody here. If anything, of course, it's going to be behind that uh, locked door. Oh, here's another one. Okay, close this. They don't mind strangers up here, right? Okay, let's do this. Let's do it for free. Oh boy. So for sudden assholes. Ain't There's Braxton. Feed everyone. Now people are doing it too. We got his work ID. Okay. It is unnatural, an affront to the grand plan. Oh boy. Oh, pick up supper time. <laughs> That's the name of it. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> That's what they're talking about with supper, huh? This day for supper. And then this big freezer here. Something. Okay. And. Very interesting. Oh, God. So did we kill that girl's mom and dad? Or what? <laughs> Alrighty. Nobody's looking. Go in here. Oh, this transitions us out. Okay, that's not good. Oh, well, we found what we wanted. Still gonna steal Lizzie's stuff. And. What that? Okay. Well, they may attack us first. Do to do. But what's this? You're tracking blood into the kitchen. Oh dear. You've been nosy. Yeah, they're gonna initiate you? it for us. We could have left out the back. 
Uh, the murdering cannibal accuses me of being nosy? Quickly, my dear. He's oh. getting agitated. We can't let the They're eating sport. him. Don't worry. Oh. We'll make this I quick. Made, I didn't get that right away. Okay. Okay, well. Yeah, Lucy too. Covering you. <laughs> dust to dust. Or in this case, bloody Ooh. bones to bloody bones. <laughs> oh, we got a uh, mission to kill them, actually. <laughs> I didn't realize that. <laughs> All right, there's their key. We don't really need. He had some level head on him. Oh, poor Lizzie. Retro rockets. What do those do? Health regeneration. Rum and something. Okay, well, we took care of that. Got mag picks on their shelf, of course, like any good family would. Oh well, there goes the last family living out here. Let's go ahead. Shut the doors behind us. I guess the way to avoid that would have been to go out that back door, but those guys deserved it. Uh, just one second, I got a DM I'm going to check over here. Okay, a little golden key code for uh, for Borderlands, Raleigh share with me. Alright, so we got to go back to Velma. Let's go handle that.